Hi, it's Katrina. From mysterious lake monsters terrorizing boats to some of the most dangerous animals in the world, here are nine terrifying creatures found in Alaska. Number 9. Lake Iliamna Monster Lake Iliamna is the largest lake in Alaska and it is rumored to be the home of a monster. The Lake Iliamna Monster, or Ili for short, is said to range from 10 to 30 feet long and locals say it is a large, dark-colored beast. There are numerous tales about the creature among nearby villages, including one native legend described by John Schandelmeyer of the Anchorage Daily News that speaks of gargantuan sea creatures moving back and forth between the seen and unseen worlds. The native Tingit people describe a creature called the Gona Cadet, a large beast with the head of a wolf and the body of an orca. The Aleut people called it the Jik Ik Nak, and it is said to travel in groups, attack canoes, and kill warriors. But is it the same creature? While there are different variations of these stories, they all describe an incredibly massive and potentially dangerous unidentified animal. Locals are reportedly sometimes afraid to cross the lake for this reason, especially since it is so remote. The only way to get across is by small boat or plane. Local resident Gary Nielsen spoke of an encounter with KDLG, a Dillingham radio station, stating, There was more than one, at least three. The first was the biggest, maybe double the size of a 32-foot gill netter. The animal either blew like a whale or spit water from his mouth or something. The smaller animals behind him did the same, but not as dramatic. They were black or very dark gray. They surfaced like whales for maybe two or three seconds about a mile offshore. I am at a total loss as to what they could be. At least six adults and several children witnessed the incident, and they walked away from it with very similar accounts of what they saw and what happened. Amateurs and experts alike have speculated regarding what the Lake Iliamna monster might be. Their guesses include sturgeons, which don't grow nearly as large as the monster's reported size, seals, and the possibility that the stories are just that, stories. Local resident Bruce Wright, a former marine ecologist, has decided to try to find it once and for all. He hopes to photograph it by sinking a video camera to the bottom of the lake and at least learn more about what lives in this mysterious place. So far, no physical evidence has turned up, but one thing remains clear. If the monster is real, you do not want to get in its way. Number 8. Moose If someone asked you to name some of Alaska's most dangerous animals, moose may not be among the first examples that come to mind, especially compared to apex predators like bears. But moose are hazardous in their own right. While their behavior is not usually outright threatening, their abundant population numbers are. Moose outnumber bears 3 to 1 in Alaska, and violent encounters with humans are statistically far more common. They wound more people than grizzly bear and black bear attacks combined. These large animals are certainly capable of killing or seriously injuring humans, with antlers measuring up to 6 feet from end to end, and they can weigh as much as 1,500 pounds. Moose wander into towns and cities in the winter and look through the trash. Although moose are not naturally aggressive, they are also not immune to aggression, especially when they feel harassed or hungry. While moose typically flee from perceived threats, if they are busy looking through your garbage and you scare them, they sometimes respond by kicking, charging, and stomping, especially when they have offspring to protect. Thankfully, most moose charges are bluffs, according to the Alaska Department of Fish and Game, but the agency stresses that it's important for people to know how to respond when this happens and to avoid a situation like this entirely, if possible. Attacks are most common during mating season in September and October. To prevent getting in their way, the Department of Fish and Game recommends keeping dogs away from moose and not throwing things at them. Feeding moose is actually considered a crime in Alaska, for their safety and yours. It has a maximum penalty of one year in prison and a $10,000 fine. Number 7. Kushtaka The Tlingit people who live in coastal Alaska and parts of Canada and have a history dating back some 10,000 years believe that some otters have shape-shifting powers that enable them to look like human men. These creatures, called Kushtaka, act with the sinister intention of trapping people's souls and stop them from reincarnating. While in human form, Kushtaka approach unsuspecting victims in villages, in the forest, and at sea. They sometimes travel individually or in groups, and are most dangerous in group form. 
To lure a human toward them, they sometimes imitate the sounds of crying women or babies. Kushtaka are indistinguishable from ordinary humans. These malevolent beings tend to appear when a person is injured or lost, pretending to be rescuers. But instead of guiding people to safety, Kushtaka lead their victims deeper into the woods and either rip them to shreds or turn them into Kushtaka too. Either way, the individual is rendered incapable of reincarnating. The irony to be found in this situation is in the seemingly harmless nature of otters and their deceptively cute appearance. Thankfully, there is one effective way to avoid crossing paths with a Kushtaka. They are terrified of dogs, so keeping a canine companion around deters them from coming near you. Number 6. Bears Alaska is home to all three North American bear species – black bears, polar bears, and brown bears, the latter of which injure the most humans out of all. Believe it or not, brown bears are statistically three and a half more times likely to hurt people during encounters, despite the polar bear's deadly reputation, according to National Geographic, which reported on research by Brigham Young University biologist Tom Smith and Stephen Herrero, professor emeritus of ecology at the University of Calgary. Bears in Alaska generally avoid humans, making attacks rare. Sightings are uncommon as well, and when one happens, a bear will usually walk away but an encounter is always possible and could be fatal. The National Park Service recommends avoiding close contact with bears at all costs. One easy way to accomplish this is to avoid attracting them with food. But the agency also warns to never run from a bear, simply stating on its website, you can't outrun a bear. Instead, people are encouraged to let the bear know that they are human by waving their hands in the air and talking in a normal tone of voice. Should the worst happen and a bear attacks, there are two choices – to play dead or fight back. A bear will generally leave the scene the moment they believe someone is no longer a threat, according to the National Park Service. So playing dead is sometimes effective, but this isn't always the case. And when worst comes to worst, a person may have no option but to fight back. Number 5. Bigfoot Bigfoot sightings have been reported in many parts of the U.S. and the world, and Alaska is no exception. People claim to see evidence of the cryptid as far back as the early 20th century, when a story circulated about a trapper reporting bizarrely large footprints in the snow in a forest and disappearing shortly thereafter. Then in 1940, a group of women reported seeing a large, hairy, man-like creature while out picking berries. They supposedly captured and fed the animal, which later died, according to a letter written by one of the individuals involved. But these hairy man-beasts are dangerous predators that inspire terror and fright. Three years later, in 1943, an unknown creature attacked a man who later died from his injuries. There were no other witnesses to the incident except the man's dog team, who reportedly chased the terrifying animal away. These are just some examples of the reported Bigfoot sightings throughout Alaska. Oftentimes, the enormous creature moves too quickly for people to catch more than a brief glimpse of it. Hunters looking for moose and deer have reported coming across man-like footprints and remains of animals torn apart, but not like the way a bear would eat. Estimates of its height range from 7 to 8 feet tall, and one witness claimed that it looked like it weighed around 400 pounds. Bigfoot sightings and other strange occurrences became so common in one village called Portlock, located along the southern edge of the Kenai Peninsula, that all its residents eventually fled. Starting in the 1930s, Portlock was plagued by mysterious deaths and disappearances, as well as sightings of strange creatures, including the Nantinak, or Big Hairy Creature. Throughout the 1940s, numerous mutilated bodies turned up in the area, showing telltale signs of brutal deaths. Meanwhile, people continued to just disappear. The fears revolving around these tragedies and the monster who might have played a role in them became so widespread, people fled Portlock in droves, nearly completely abandoning it by the 1950s. Hunters returned years later and noticed footprints measuring a foot and a half long. Today, the once bustling village remains a ghost town. Number 4. Mountain Lions As you already know, mountain lions are real animals. But they are rarely seen in Alaska, which is considered outside the species' range, making them seem almost mythical in the region. The wild felines are most often spotted in southeastern Alaska, near known populations in neighboring British Columbia, but sightings have been reported much farther north and to the west, including on the Kenai Peninsula and around the city of Palmer, according to the Alaska Department of Fish and Game. 
Mountain lion populations are increasing throughout parts of North America, perhaps explaining why people are increasingly noticing them outside their established areas. Experts believe it's unlikely that the species will establish a breeding population in Alaska, but they find it entirely believable that the big cats sometimes wander there. Human encounters with mountain lions are rare, and therefore so are physical altercations between them and us. As the Mountain Lion Foundation points out on its website, you are more likely to drown in your bathtub, be killed by a pet dog, or hit by lightning. But it's not impossible for things to get ugly between a mountain lion and a human, especially if someone doesn't know how to properly react to the wild cat's presence. Running is a bad idea, and so is playing dead. A more effective approach is just like with bears, to wave your arms in the air or open and flap your coat to look bigger and talk loudly while walking backwards giving the animal its space. In most cases, people succeed in thwarting the animal. Worst case scenario, if it leaps at you, it's most likely going to go for your neck. So once it lunges, you have to fight back. Number three, wolverines. Wolverines have a fierce and fearless reputation and are also known for their highly aggressive and territorial tendencies. They aren't huge. Adult males typically weigh between 20 and 55 pounds and measure up to 3.3 feet long, not including their tail. But looks can be deceiving, and wolverines are extremely strong for their size. Additionally, they have razor-sharp claws and powerful jaws that can crunch through meat and bone. They will kill livestock, small animals, and even moose if they feel like it. This solitary species, which is related to minks and weasels, is more abundant in certain parts of Alaska than others, and it's rare for wolverines to enter human-populated areas. While it's possible, in theory, for a wolverine to kill a human, there are no documented deaths. But these ferocious animals do occasionally go near people. In November 2019, for example, the ADFG warned Anchorage residents about a string of wolverine attacks against pets and livestock. Fortunately, no people have ever fallen victim to the wandering creature's violent ways, and wolverines generally avoid going anywhere near people. Still, it could happen, and the ADFG cautions against doing anything to attract one. Number 2. Chena River Ice Monster Back in 2016, an Alaska Bureau of Land Management worker named Craig McCaw captured bizarre footage of a creature in the Chena River in Fairbanks. It quickly became known as the Alaska Ice Monster. The video of the strange, 15-foot-long, ice-covered serpentine creature swimming slowly in a side-to-side -side motion quickly went viral generating countless comments with people's theories on what the animal was. Included among the guesses were suggestions that the so-called ice monster was an Atlantic sturgeon, a bull shark, ice or debris that simply looked like an animal, or something else entirely, perhaps a North American version of the Loch Ness Monster. The more imaginative among these theories quickly fell out of favor in lieu of more rational ones. The Bureau of Land Management admittedly never officially investigated or identified the creature, technically leaving the matter open to speculation. But the Anchorage Daily News noted that according to an ADFG biologist, the most likely case was that frazzle ice, a kind of loose, slushy ice that forms on water, had become stuck to a rope near a bridge pier. This loose, random ice is formed in supercooled, turbulent water and might have swayed back and forth on the rope, which of course would look like a beast. While this conclusion is not as exciting as the idea of a North American Nessie lurking in Alaska's waters, the latter has technically not been ruled out yet. Number 1. Wolves Wolves are common throughout Alaska, including in areas inhabited by humans. While they are certainly capable of doing harm, wolves are rarely aggressive toward us. But they do sometimes attack, and troubling encounters in suburban areas are on the rise. In a handful of instances, wolves have even killed their victims. The first ever known case of a wolf killing a human in Alaska, which was also the second recorded such case in North America, happened in March 2010, near the community of Chignik Lake. The body of a woman named Candace Burner was found on a roadside, and a subsequent investigation determined that an animal had mauled her to death. Between the evidence and eyewitness testimony, the ADFG and the Alaska State Troopers determined that wolves killed Ms. Burner. To avoid being attacked, the ADFG recommends storing food properly, not going outside alone in wolf territory, and being aware of your surroundings. Should a person encounter a wolf or a wolf pack, they should not run or turn their back on the animals. Instead, they should maintain eye contact, aggressively step forward while yelling or using a noisemaker of some sort, such as an air horn. 
and if necessary, fight back. I mean, I don't know who carries an air horn while walking about, but maybe if you live in Alaska, you should, just in case of emergency. Thanks for watching. Have you ever been to Alaska? It is definitely one of the places I want to visit. If you'd like to learn about more terrifying creatures and things from other parts of the world, let me know in the comments below. And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new here. See you later. Bye!